Welcome to Toffee TV, to the Everton News Daily. It's the 3rd of May 2018. Uh, today, a report from Anderlecht and some of the papers there are saying Henry Onyekuru could be staying with Anderlecht for another year. Apparently Anderlecht have got an agreement in place with Everton for the player to stay on loan with the club for another year. Uh, the player apparently in the same report is keeping his options open and it all depends if Anderlecht qualify for the Champions League. They're in there at the playoff stage of the Belgium League at the moment. It gets a little bit complicated towards the end. I think it's a little bit like the Scottish system where all the top teams play each other uh, going into the end of the season. So he's keeping his options open. Obviously the player um, suffered a serious knee injury this season, came back to Everton and has gone back to Anderlecht. I don't think he's played a first team game yet. I think he's played some reserve team football. Um, obviously, be hoping to go to the World Cup. This might be this might have been put in place for Everton just in case the player doesn't qualify for a work permit this summer. And it might just be a, a precautionary thing. Um, but the reports are coming out of Belgium, so we don't really know too much more about them. So, um, listen, the player just mightn't be ready yet. You know, he's only twenty. He just mightn't be ready to step up to the Premier League, and, and it might just be Everton's way of securing. The player um, another year where he can learn more and maybe as it, play in the Champions League, play with the team playing at the top of the league and hopefully get some more experience before he does come to Everton. Um, some good news today for an Everton youngster, Benny Benengami has signed a new four-year deal with the club. Uh, he's played um, a few times this season, obviously he's come off the bench, he's played in Europe for Everton. Um, played in the League Cup and has played in the Premier League, so he's had some good experience this season. This has been his break, breakout year. Always look good when he comes on the pitch, always looks destructive. Um, I think as he gets a little bit more experience, a little bit more will come out of him. He looks like, obviously being a young player, he does his job and then tends to just do the easy thing. Maybe he'll start doing the more more difficult thing as he gets a little bit more experience. You know, big, strong, powerful Young man who uh, looks like a very modern footballer, a very modern Premier League footballer. So Everton has secured his services for another four years, and hopefully we'll see more of him playing in the first team next year if they opt to. Again, a lot of these players who are playing in around the first team, young players, will the club keep them in the squad, or will they look to send them on loan and maybe bring more, you know, better, more experienced players in? They've decided this year to bring, obviously leave Dominic Calvin Lewin, leave. Tom Davies, leave John Joe Kenny, and those players have played a lot. We've needed those players this season, let's be honest, um, with others going out on loan. Now, it'll be a chance for some of those other players, the likes of Keenan Dial, Joe Williams, to come back. You know, will they come back and get into the first team squad? And will the likes of Tom Davies and, and Dominic Avalon and John Joe Kenny maybe spend time out on loan with, you know, the, with them playing in and out the side? Um, that's for that's for Everton to decide. You'd, you'd like to think that those players are being in and around the squad, but if Everton are looking to do something next season, you know, break into that top six, top five, whatever, then maybe they have to go out and, and get better, more experienced pl players in those positions. These are decisions the club has got to deal with and got to face going forward. Um, Marco Silva, his name has come back again today. Um, a article in goal has suggested that Everton are once again looking at the man who <laughs> really wanted to come to Everton in October uh, to take over from Ronald Koeman but obviously was denied that by Watford and ended up being being sacked or certainly put put on gardening leave that's still up in the air which which one he was he was done um, the man who basically tried to get out and was trying to bring some of his Watford players with him um, we haven't heard much about him since he was sacked regarding the Everton job. It seems like Everton have moved on to to new targets, but possibly with those targets now becoming a little bit up in the air, the likes of Fonseca, um, are they again going back to Silva and thinking, well, you know what? Let's get him in. Let's get him. Let's get give him. You know, let's talk to him at least. See see what plans he would have for Everton. Obviously, he hasn't taken a job. Um, that might be down to the situation with Watford, I don't know, but he hasn't taken a job, he's been linked with a few. Could he be the man? I know a lot of Blues at the time wanted him, a lot didn't want him. Um, I think it was just, for some, might just be the excitement of getting a new manager in. 
but his time at Watford um, went a little bit sour after the incidents with, with Everton. A lot of players, I think, stopped trusting him. Um, I think the club stopped trusting him. I think the fans fell out with him because it was very, very clear that he wanted to come to Everton. That was very, very clear. I think he made his feelings known to all that he wanted to come to Everton. I think that's why Everton pushed so hard for him. Um, but it never happened. You know, we 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 moved on once we were told by by Watford that he was definitely not signing signing for us. I think the night we beat them three two, Everton approached their board and uh, you know made their feelings known. But Watford Watford, you know, decided they really wanted to keep him. He hadn't he hadn't been at the club that long, and I think that puts a lot of Everton fans off the man as well. That he would he was so quick to want to jump from Watford to Everton, having not been a um, Wofford too long because you know the feeling would be well what if someone else came for him if he was doing okay at Everton would he start doing that um, so that name has been back out again listen I, I hope that in the pursuit of a new manager we are out there we are speaking to managers we are gauging their ideas going forward um, can they work with directors of football and, and so on what are they, What would they be their plans for bringing players in I'd like to think that the club were, were dealing with all these things so um, we'll wait and see maybe in the next few weeks we'll find out more details whether Sam Allardyce is staying and, and who the club are looking at um, to replace him uh, finally today Fraser Hornby big centre forward plays for the under 23s made his debut against Limassol played quite well that night actually he's been training with the first team today so is there an opportunity for him to be involved on Saturday against Southampton? Could he be on the bench? Um, you know, with only a couple of games to go, could it be now a chance to give a couple of players the reward for playing well in the under twenty threes this season? Just change it up a little bit as we go into the last couple of games. Um, he's been training with the under, as I say, with the first team. Sorry, he's also uh, been called up to the Scotland under twenty one. So, listen, it might just be a case of. Giving a lad more, you know, a little bit, little bit something to do against tougher players. It might be a case of Everton using them uh, to show our defenders what they'll be up against on on Saturday. You know, we might be in there as almost like a, as a as part of a training museum. I don't know, but he has trained with the first team today, so uh, be interesting to see whether he's on the bench on Saturday. Hopefully, he is. I hope he is. I mean, I'd rather have him on the bench than someone like Martina. What you know, what's the point? What's the point with the last couple of games to go to the end of the season? Anyway, that's it for the Everton News Daily. We'll be back tomorrow with all the news of Sam Allardyce's press conference ahead of the game against Southampton. We'll see you then.